Eric Kamadeka Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with track and field head coach Eric Kamadeka, who brought some props with him today. He's got the plaque from the Penn Relays. Talk a little bit about what you got there. Yeah, this wheel that we got here, what they call it at Penn Relays, um, you get it if you win your event at Penn Relays. And we are fortunate enough on the women's 4x4 side to win the Max Centennial race. Um, so it's all the schools that used to be in the MAC or in the MAC now and all the schools that are in the Centennial. So, you know, very, very deep field, a lot of history and tradition with the Penn Relays. And for this to be our first wheel brought home, you know, it was very exciting. Yeah, a school record that came with it and a whole lot of bragging rights. Yeah, a whole lot of bragging rights. Great races by all four women. Uh, we led off with Kimberly Hammond. She did exactly what she needed to do. She got out up front, put herself in position, handed off to Dion Hicks. Dion does what she always does. Is she fights like a bulldog and uh, put us in again in position, you know. And the, the leg that we were concerned about was Jalea Sidner, you know. She's coming off the injury from uh, indoor where she didn't get to compete. I uh, was really starting to get into things now, and she probably ran the best leg that we saw. You know, she was put us in it. She fell back a little bit, and then towards the end when you watch the video, she took to the charge, got out in front of the other woman, and handed it off to Sierra in great position. And Sierra fought like she could and held, at, held off Hopkins, who's won this event uh, multiple times. It was a great precursor as you guys move into the MAC Commonwealth, well, the MAC Championships this week. It's a, another multi-day event. And I would say you guys are awfully prepared for it. Yeah, we really are. You know, this weekend was what we really needed, especially on the sprint side, because, you know, distance a couple of weeks ago had a really good weekend. A lot of uh, PRs, huge performances. And then sprints last week, a little bit suffered with the rain at Morgan State. Uh, but the weather was 80 some degrees on Thursday for the women on Friday for the guys. And they feel really, really good about those performances going in. So I think the team as a whole is in really good shape right now. You talk about those PRs. It just is impressive how you guys keep on improving. As you move into the MAC, what is it that what's it going to take to be in one of those top four or top three spots that you're hoping yeah. to hold on to? It's it's a close conference. You know, the top four teams are going to probably be separated by maybe 30, 50 points at most, which is pretty incredible and shows how deep our conference mm -hmm. is. So really it comes down to who's going to who's going to be ready to show up on Thursday, Friday and Saturday as you you know get ready for the you're done the taper party ready to compete now are you in the max are you trying to solidify some ncaa bids or eca bids or yeah, so the biggest thing, you know, we're going to be chasing after those points. And the points kind of take care of themselves, take care of the performances as well. So one or the other will take care of it. And then, you know, hopefully as a result of that, you know, we will get those uh, championships. Hopefully the weather cooperates with us. I think that's going to be the biggest challenge is, mm -hmm. you know, weather's not looking great for this weekend. But everyone's ready to go. So hopefully with those performances, feeling rested and recovered, that we should have a couple of NCAA qualifying performances. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck. And hopefully you're bringing back some more hardware yeah. after this weekend. Yeah, thank you. He's Eric Kamadeka. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.